Hello everybody and welcome back to NASCAR Arcade Rush Cup Series Championship Mode. Today I believe I am going to be doing what what is it called? The Velocity Rush Championship. But if it ends up being very short, I'll I'll do the second the third championship as well. Last time we did the Rising Talent Championship. Where we ran the next gen at the Californs, the Chicago Street, Watkins Glen, which really didn't even look like Watkins Glen, and the Daytones. So today we are running at Phoenix. We're also running again at the Chicago Street course. Which is, eh, it's kind of like the Chicago Street Course, but it's really not. They could have done more to this game. They put home, we got Homestead, and then the Kansas! But, let's get started, everybody. Let's get the video started today, shall we? Let's go! Amidst the darkness in Phoenix, we're ready to ignite the engines and light up the night. It's showtime. <sighs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, And why the heck is there like UFOs? We're not in the middle of Nevada. We're in the middle of Arizona. They could have done more with this game. If I was to make a game that was similar to this, I would take both the themes of NASCAR Unleashed and NASCAR Rumble and NASCAR Kart Racing, put them all in the this. But I would include also, like I say, what this should have had, a drift like button, not exactly a drift mode, but a drift button to where you can easily take the turn a more easier to earn boost system like a split stream system and I would also bring back like classic tracks like the Martinsville tracks from NASCAR Unleashed the Bristol track from kart racing as well as the Dover track as well as probably other fan favorites from other games. Like also the Talladega tracks. And I would probably also include like an actual, actual oval. Because there's not a single actual oval in this. I don't even know why I'm doing this again. I experimented with it and five of you people actually watched it. So th those of you supporters... Thank you all for watching. I hope y'all did enjoy that. That's why I am back at it again. This game, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of disappointing. They could have done a whole lot more, but... The company that made this is not known for good games. They're all usually pretty bad. Team 6 Game Studios. They also made games that, like, they are known for, such as Monster Jam Crush It, NHRA Speed for All, as well as Street Outlaws The List and Street Outlaws 2. And they also put out the worst big rig racing game ever known called Big Rig Racing Over the Road. I believe that's what it was called. It was awful. Never played it, but I've seen a good amount of footage. That, and it is awful. Is that Dan trying to hit me? Boy! Oh my goodness, it actually is. Boy! Boy, you should let me win. But that? I want to win this! Boy! How about you go take back that eight ball from your stepmother? 
But Dad, I've been trying! Boy, quit trying and get her gone! <laughs> Why am I even trying to do the boys? I can't get it perfect. There's no way I'd, I... I'm, I'm trying to be Michael Moose, but there's no way I'm ever going to be Michael Moose completely. I don't have that big of a crowd. I don't have that big of a subscriber amount. I don't have that amount of people watching my stuff. So, genuinely, yeah. Oh, we just unlocked... Roadrunner? Gotta wonder what that did. And we're heading to Chicago! Oh, Chicago. Here we are again. Oh, it's my favorite Chicago. Time of the year, and I'm looking forward to taking you a tour through the You better run for city. your apartment, because we're about to cause a storm. A storm of race cars. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. It's time to play. Oh my goodness, what is that livery? I'm getting distracted. I can't even see what it is. say this game is not that great but for those of you who want to watch this I'll continue doing it for you all because like I say I really wanted to do like another arcade style NASCAR game like NASCAR Rumble but the emulator kind of ruined that for me because I know you all enjoyed the NASCAR Kart Racing Championship mode. I saw how many of you all were watching that. I really wanted to do another series. After I've seen how many of you new people were watching that series. So I had to try and find something that would even come close to that. This isn't as glorious, but it's the closest thing that I'm going to get to it. Except, this game doesn't have a drift button. There's no teamwork, no power-up, no drift, and a not very satisfying boost system. Although it does have the pit road system, much like Unleashed Except it doesn't repair your car, it just gives you a boost. And it slows you down a Fun, unlike Unleash. Because in Unleash, you could, like, just speed down pit road. If I had a way to play Unleash on the channel, I would, but I don't have the stuff to be able to record on the PS3. I don't even have that game for the PS3. I have it for the 360. But once again, like I say, I would love to be able to do some other, like, game that's kind of like the style. I would honestly love to do, like, the old grid games, like the ones that have, like, the demo derby mode. The good demo derby mode. Not the crappy demo derby mode that they gave us in Grid Legends. Although, I don't have the DLC yet, but I really want to do that DLC at some point on here. As you all know, I love me some good Demolition Derby. From whenever I, I played a little bit of Flat Out on here, I played a little bit of Flat Out 4, some Breakfast, Crew 2's Demolition Derby mode. But that was before Ubisoft ever got corrupted and destroyed the Crew 1. We all know that at some point, unless they can convince Ubisoft otherwise, the Crew 2 is going to reach the same fate. It's going to have the same fate. If we can't convince them otherwise. 
the other arcade like style like racing game like this I think about playing shoot what was that called was it called superstar racing I don't know I can't remember what it was called it was an old game I know that almost always on sale it has a stock car in it Congrats I know the AI is pretty rowdy in it whatever it was but I can't remember what it was I honestly, for the love of God, can't remember what it was called. Welcome. Ten, nine, eight, okay, seven, we're headed to the homestead. Push me. I'm going to pause for a second three, because I don't know how long two, I've been recording for. One, let's go wow. Nearly 11 minutes. This video has gone by very quickly. Maybe we will do another one, but at the same time, I, I think I'm going to keep it to one championship per video. I think I'll keep it at one championship per video. Although sometime soon, we will be starting SpongeBob Cosmic Shape as... I am getting that through PlayStation Plus this month. What is that noise? It sounds like the ocean. We're not even close to the ocean. We're near the Ring of Fire. Why is the Ring of Fire here? Why does the city in the background look more like Vice City than Miami? I think we're, no, we're not on the last race of this championship yet either. We still got one more race at the Kansas after this. Yeah, we still got one more race at the Kansas after this. I don't know whose idea this game was or why NASCAR let them put this out. Like, you see all the licensed logos. Like, the NOCO, Moo, the actual NASCAR logo. I think maybe Goodyear is in here. So yeah, there's a Goodyear ad back there. And Mechanics Wear. But yet, you see no actual sponsored cars, no actual drivers. No drift, but none of that. Now we're on, on to the last the race. Winner. Yep, we got one more race. And then we head. And then that's going to be it. We're headed to the Kansas. 
I actually this track, the way this track looks, it reminds Time me of another the game. Tires and light the fires. It reminds Let's me more of like Horizon Chase 2. Which, if you all want me to play that on the channel at some point, I'll look into it. I'll definitely look Ten, into playing nine, Horizon Chase eight, 2 on here at some seven, point. Six, five, four, three, two, one. It's time. The boost system in this is not very satisfying at all. Like, if you play a game like Flat Out 4, the boost system in that feels way more satisfying than what this does. And the cars just feel so heavy in there. I mean, with, like, Rumble and Kart Racing, and actually also Unleashed, they all had, like, their themed, like, championships. Rumble did it well. Kart Racing perfected it, as you had fantasy drivers as well as actual drivers racing against you in the championships. For the championships in kart racing and they actually perfected the formula in that i still wish i could could have finished that i could have finished that series but unfortunately the emulator broke as well as the recording software that i use on my pc i really enjoyed doing that series for you all too while although, yeah, my PC struggled to run that game all the time whenever I did do that. But that's because it's nearly a 20 year old game at this point. In about five more years, that game will turn 20 years old. Kart Racing was literally the last NASCAR game that we ever got from EA, and it was exclusive to the Wii. Very weird, but it was actually a really fun, awesome game. I love playing that for you all. Well, we're coming down to the white flag, so... Genuinely, that's going to end my discussion for you all. Um, I'm, I'm just going to get it... get Kind of get my outro done while I'm finishing up this last lap. If you all did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. If you love you some more NASCAR content, go check out Michael Roots. He does wonderful stuff currently still doing NASCAR 2011 The Game 2011 DLC which that is a living nightmare for him that game has screwed him over so much with that DLC he also is currently doing the NASCAR 2015 NASCAR 15 career mode with a very good, awesome storyline. Both of them series are having awesome storylines. And the same with, um... Shoot. The same with, uh, the Formula NASCAR, which I tried to replicate. But I'm nowhere near as good as what he is. I'm a failure. I'm even more of a failure than what he is at the Formula NASCAR. He's not a failure. He's good at it, but yeah. Once again, like I say, yeah. And if you love you some Souls games 
as well as some Monster Hunter, go check out SWDJ Gaming. And if you look, well, he hasn't been able to upload much, but if you love you some Fortnite as well, some Battlefield shorts, Halo shorts, things like that, go check out Bottle Cap Snap. All these fellas do wonderful content. Never really talked to Michael in person, but genuinely support him as much as I can. I support him as much as I can. Next time, if we if we continue this series again for another week, I know it's been a few weeks since I did this, but if we do another one, we're heading to the Talladegs, the, again to the Glen, the Michigan, and for the finale, we're back at the Daytones. And this is going to be it all for me, but... This will be Messenger Gaming, signing off. Goodbye.